My name is Emily Gray and I received my bachelor's degree in science with honors. I first got interested in research when I took an ecology class with Peter Nosko because he really included a lot of his research into our lectures and I started to get interested in the topics he was talking about and I couldn't believe that we could actually participate in that sort of activity and so I approached him and he suggested taking a field camp course and so the field camp course I did was the Newfoundland field camp and from there I got involved in the research that we participated in the course and I loved it and that's where it started. We were surveying the Laurier Woods conserved area um, just for plant diversity. That was part of our floor course so I, I really was interested in that and I spent a lot of weekends actually out in Laurier Woods just you know investigating what was out there and recording some data for um, the Friends of Laurier Woods. And then uh, with Field Camp I also did the research with Parks Canada. Um, and I've also helped with uh, research projects in Phelps Township with Red Oak studies that have been going on, as well as um, some of my peers were working on projects that I would sort of, you know, go and help them collect things in the field or just help out whenever I could, just volunteered. With the Friends of Laurier Woods, they want to um, catalog what they have there because it is conserved land. So they want to know what they're protecting and what species are found in there. And also so that they can highlight it for the public to know that, you know, in Laurier Woods you'll see beautiful orchids, like lady slippers, and you'll see um, interesting ferns that you normally see, and things like that. Um, with the Biology Field Camp, we worked with Parks Canada on the failed regeneration of balsam fir. So we were basically doing a community study just to investigate what the status was of the balsam fir trees. Because due to uh, overabundance of moose and cyclic insect infestations, the balsam fir population, which is normally the dominant tree species in Newfoundland, isn't recovering. So they want to investigate what are the factors that are fostering regeneration in one area and not in another. So that study, um, was giving Parks Canada a look into um, what's going on really on the ground because they've done a lot of aerial studies to see where there's failed regeneration but it really gives them a picture as to what's going on right in the field and what the status is. I didn't even know about the society until my professor pointed it out to me and he had said that they do offer research grants and I did not think that I would get a research grant. I was thinking master's students get research grants. And he just kept encouraging me. He's, he said, you have to apply. He said, you're, you're doing research. You care about this. You have to put it out there. And so he helped me. I, I investigated it and I found the forms and he helped me fill everything out. And I basically just laid out what our project would be and submitted it. And turns out that an undergrad can get <laughs> funding from the Royal Canadian Geographical Society.